Welcome back everyone, I'm Kate Blues Games, this is EVE Online and today we're going to be having a look at inventory management and more specifically inventory filters. Here is a random inventory as you see with lots of random stuff in it. For inventory management purposes I have purchased some station containers or giant secure containers to act as folders. You can right click them and rename them. For instance, this one contains all my ores. As you see, I have put all my ores in this. I have put all my blueprints in this. I have put some junk loot in here. And this is a box where things I'm going to sell are put. Now these are very good. These are a really nice way of making folders or instead of having tabs, you can use these like folders in your inventory. But then the problem is, how do you sort out which goes into which folder? This is where the filters come in and the filters are extremely powerful. To access them, you go here to the top right and you select show sidebar. Like this, here it is. So let's make a new filter. Let's say we're going to make a filter to tell us all the loot which we're going to melt down into minerals. So let's go ahead, click this create filter button and get a move on. This is what you see. This is the blank filter page. Now you can set many conditions. So let's say um, estimated unit price. If it's less than say 250,000 isk, then show it. So if the estimated unit price is less than 250,000 isk, show it to me because that's the stuff I want to melt down. But um, there are certain things we may wish to keep. Things like ammunition and scan probes and scanners and drones and filaments. Because the object of the exercise is so you can just basically select everything and then drag it into another inventory or right click and reprocess it. So let's see if we can't eliminate this. Now the good thing is, is that as we add conditions here, it will update the inventory in real time. And that's really cool. And um, let's see if we can get rid of the filaments first. So we'll say group is not, I believe these are commodities and then abyssal filaments. All right. So we are looking at everything in this inventory, which is under quarter of a million isk, but is not an abyssal filament. Okay, that's quite nice. Um, I think we'll do the same for drones because I might want to keep the drones for myself. So group is not drone. And there they go. All the dr You can specify which drones, but I just wanted to get rid of all drones. Now, as I said, I may wish to keep my core scanner probe and core probe launcher. We could, of course, do that by group and f putting um, the core scanner probes and the core probes away as well. Or we can do something else. We can go name contains or does not contain and type in core. And you will notice that both the core scan probe and the core scan probe launcher were both excluded because we only want to see things which are not called core. So that's a really good way of doing that. It's a shortcut. And I'd rather not show my laser ammo. I'd quite like to keep that. So we'll go group is not charge. But I am going to specify laser crystals, which will be frequency crystal. So any other ammunition like these camp boosters will be shown, but the frequency crystals will not. And I think I will exclude laser weapons as well. So again, we'll go group is not module. And we want to come down to energy weapon, energy weapon. All right. So I think that is going to be our filter. So we are showing anything that is worth less than 250,000 isk is not an abyssal filament, is not a drone, is not either a core scan probe or a core scan launcher or anything else which has the word core in it, is not a frequency crystal and is not an energy weapon. And you can obviously do more things. If you want to keep the armor plate, you can set a new group, which will be is not module armor plate. 
So now we should be able to just select everything and reprocess it if we so wished. And we just close that filter to reset it. And once you've saved them, they're here. So you can just, I have previously made that same filter called trash. So now if I want to find all the trash, we just left click this, select all the trash, melt it down, deselect it to bring back everything else. It's really quite powerful. Now some people um, do ask, can you filter your modules by high, medium and low? Well, yes, you can with a filter. So we'll just say slot type is high power and call it high power and save it. So now anytime we want to find anything that's high power, just click this. There we go. And you can do the same with mediums and lows and rigs. Very, very easy. And another good thing to learn is the search bar. That's another very quick way of finding exactly what you want. Say for instance, we wanted to find armor plate. We'll just type in plate. There they are on the plates. If we wanted to find, say an agitated filament, a G I, all you need is a couple of letters and it will show you what you want. Our core probes, there's all the core stuff. Like you'll notice if I type in crystal, it won't show crystals. This is going by the name, not by the module type or the meta group or anything like that. So it does go by name. So if you know the name of what you're looking at, that can be a really good way of finding your stuff. If we wanted to find anything that was capacitor related, we could do CEP for cap and there we are. All the cap modules and we can just very quickly find the exact one we want. And of course you can nest this. So for example, if we were to do the slot type is high power, then we can further refine it with the search. So if we only wanted weapons, so you want a pulse weapon, so we go, you can filter it by high power and then use pulse to find the exact thing you want. So that's how you do inventory management. You make filters, they're very, very powerful. You can spend a long time doing them, but the good thing is, is that you can save them. And that save state is carried with all of your inventories. So every station you'll dock in will have all the filters and available for you to use at any time. They're well worth investing some time in. It makes finding what you want extremely quick, especially when paired with the search function. It can be really, really good. And don't forget to use cans as inventory folders as well. And you can apply these filters to the contents of the cans as well. So there is no excuse for not being able to find the thing you want to find in your inventory anymore. Anyway, that's it for this short video. It's a fairly easy concept to get your head around. You just need to think about what you want to find and what you want to do and which restrictions you need to put on your filters. I hope to see you again for the next video and I hope you look after yourself until then. I will see you later.